What's up everyone? So I was sent a robot or smart robot car kit uh, 3.0 plus from a company called Illegal. I hope I said that name correctly. That's what I will pronounce it since I'm Danish. And also want to mention it's a sponsored video, pretty much an ad or reclame in Dutch. Well, they pretty much uh, asked me if I wanted to do a review and also build the robot, which I never did before. I never built a robot before other than a Aussie car, if you want to include that as a robot. But it should be straight out of the box and there should be some tools included inside of the box. So uh, let's get to it. I'm just going to include a picture here so you guys can see what this has on, on the backside of it. And I also mentioned here up here on top of Lego Smart Robot Car. Let's get to it and uh, hopefully Hopefully, hopefully I can get it working correctly. So here we go guys, I actually enjoyed myself putting it together, it was a lot of fun, it was pretty much like playing with Legos or putting Lego together, hence the name, <laughs> a Lego, I guess, it was probably just me. There's a few things you can do with this uh, robot, is that uh, you can program, it comes with uh, two USB cables, uh, one of them is a USB type B, I believe it's called, to full regular USB and a USB type micro or USB micro, as it is, for charging. Um, the robot itself. It also comes with a remote controller where you can uh, control it back and forward 
but it's not as responsive as I would like. So sometimes it's reacting, other times it's not. Um, occasionally it works as it's supposed to, but I highly recommend uh, using your phone instead of uh, the remote control. It also have a more optional based and advanced uses uh, on the phone itself than it does with the remote controller. And it's also way easy to know what exactly you're pressing. The manual itself also comes, uh, comes with some uh, information on how to use the remote controller. But I highly recommend downloading the Bluetooth app for it, so you can control it way better. Underneath the smart robot, there's also a free sensors, which uh, is for line tracking. So you can uh, use electrical tape and set it up to go over that line tracking or follow the electrical tape. Uh, I accidentally threw my uh, electrical tape away somehow. It uh, it was there in the box, but somehow I just lost my electrical tape, so I was not able to test it out, sadly. But I noticed that it uh, pretty much do have the sensor going on. Here on the back here, <coughs> I also broke a little knob to adjust the left and right turn. Uh, and I do think I can probably adjust that with a flat screwdriver and I was uh, going a little bit too extreme with it over bumps and it broke off the knob, which is a shame. Um, I will kind of wish the, the height of uh, the ground clearances was a little bit higher so you can go over bumps and whatnot, uh, which is just my opinion. So the card itself also comes with a software which you have to go and download on a Lego, their website. Um, so you can program it uh, to do certain stuff. I haven't really messed around with it because I'm not a programmer or a coder. Not when it comes down to robots, never really messed around with that kind of stuff before. But it does include a software for it. And I will include um, the Lego link uh, to their website in the description if you want to check it out. Anywho, anyhow guys, this is what I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new to this channel, I uh, would appreciate a sub and uh, also if you like this video, please give a like. So I will see you guys in the next one and here's a few B-rolls with the Lego Smart Robot Car Kit 3.0 Plus.